How you doing, YouTubers? Uh, today I'm be doing a video of my Crossman 1077. Uh, this is a totally uh, custom 1077. I've been working on this for a few years. Uh, let me start from the back to the front. I've got a uh, limb saver uh, buttstock pad on it. Um, it's no recoil to this gun, but I put it on here because it's just it's a little more comfortable than the hard plastic uh, buttstock. I got a Voodoo Tactical uh, cheek riser on it. Uh, pretty nice, OD green. Uh, it helped me with my eye to scope uh, fit. I've got a extra bottle, 12 ounce bottle here. I painted the stock, uh, army green. Uh, I've got one more piece I wanna do to this, which is, uh, I saw a guy on YouTube, he just put two clips together, glued them together. It looks like an extended clip. I also have a little uh, pressure gauge on here. Tells me how much PSI, I think it's, right around 900 right now um what else i got a bipod they're foldable they extend up to i believe 18 inches uh polish the barrel i have a hpa sports uh muzzle brake on it which is nice just adds a little custom look to it um, I also have a custom fitted uh, riser rail that's meant to go on a Ruger 1022 and that's what the 1077 is modeled after is a Ruger 1022. I was able to custom fit it on there, fits real nice, just as a rugged different look to the gun. Uh, center point scope on it. It's uh, I like it and uh, like I said I'm pretty much done with this project I think I'm going to move on to another 1077 with all of my same internal mods valve work heavy hammer spring light trigger spring polished all the trigger action everything's done up inside barrel stabilizer uh, I'm gonna move on to the wood model and uh, try to do something with that 